Hi, I'm Richard Collins. I'm one of the analysts here at ID TechX, and we're here at the ID TechX show in Santa Clara, USA. Now I'm at the Asylum Technologies booth at the exhibition floor. They're here presenting some of their work, and they're going to be giving me a conference presentation later into the structural health monitoring class as part of our census track. So would you mind introducing yourself and telling us a little bit about Asylum Technologies? Sure. So, hi, I'm Olivia Liu from Asylum Technologies. I'm a project manager. Hi, I'm Tara Single from Aislinn Technologies. I'm a project engineer here in the algorithms team. Fantastic. So what do Aislinn Technologies do? Yeah, so here at Aislinn Technologies, we do structural health monitoring. So here are structures where we're talking about like are like aircrafts, pipelines, or automobiles. So usually our company work with either metal or composite material. For metal, we can pick up like fatigue cracks, corrosion. For composite, we can pick up like delamination and debonding. So our system is comprised of three major elements. Well, the first is here, our smart layer, which is a thin dielectric film embedded with piezoelectric sensors. So you can see here, like the film is really flexible. It can be either surface mounted or embedded right within composite material during production. So it can withstand temperature all the way up to about 400 Fahrenheit. So it can be co-cured right within during production. Um, the second part here would be our hardware doing data acquisition and then like internally we develop our own algorithm to do diagnostics. Ah, fantastic. So mm -hmm. can you show us any of this technology? Yeah, sure. So as she mentioned that we have these sensors that as you can see it's a piezoelectric based sensing system. So these tiny dots are basically piezoelectric sensors which are embedded in this captain flexible layer. So this can either be surface mounted like this here on any structure for detecting any kind of damage. So here it is uh, in the application of detecting a bolt loosening. So like in bridges, in some kind of joints that we want to detect bolt loosening, it's very convenient. Also, it can be it can be co-cured within a composite layer. So you see this panel. So this composite layer can be easily embedded in within the plies of the composite panel. And so these tiny dots here you see, these are the sensor markings that we have within the panel which are inside this composite layer. So that's how we do it. And then um, these sensors can easily be connected with a connector here which goes to the hardware and which is basically our main data collection unit. Yeah. Uh, it collects the ultrasonic sound waves that comes from the PZT. So when you impact it like so, the piezoelectric sensor excites and the data is collected. And you can see in our hardware, in the software, uh, we can easily detect the location of the impact and the force of the impact. Fantastic. So, and this can be done remotely as well. So like if you're sitting in an office but you want to monitor your outside assets, you just open your laptop and you're e you can just connect to the hardware and you can easily monitor from your desk. So you mentioned earlier some of the key markets that we've been talking about, like transportation mm -hmm. and civil structures. Is it currently in use or when do you hope that the uptake is going to be seen? So currently we're working with Airbus to develop uh, to develop a onboard system for them to do like online real-time monitoring and we're also working with the Korean Aerospace to design uh, to design hardware for them as well. So yeah. we're expecting to be launching pretty soon. Fantastic. So that's aerospace but we also have uh, major customers in pipeline industry for example PG&E and uh, we have done some work with them to detect um, the corrosion in the pipelines that happen in underground pipes. Then there's Chevron, so they have lots of oil pipes going through, and then we need to detect the corrosion happening due to the oil ha uh, inside the pipes. So that's pipeline. Then we have a train uh, uh, application in which we monitor the structure of high-speed rail trains in China. So I think it's a, a very, very versatile uh, uh, product, and it can be applied to almost anything, pretty much. No, thank you very much. It sounds like a very interesting topics. So, um, just to say you're at the ID Tech X show and this is your first time exhibiting here. How have you found the show? Well, it's been great. Yeah, there's a lot of people here hunting for new technology. We talked to a lot of CTOs and chief strategy officers that is just really interested in what we can provide. So it's been a great show so far. Fantastic. And I'm looking forward to the conference presentation yeah. later on. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah, thank you.